Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. I just finished getting ready. We had lunch before I got ready. I will insert clips of lunch right now. We're having lunch real quick, just some avocado toast with avocado, sriracha salt, lemon juice in the avocado, and then black pepper sprinkled on top, pickled red onions, nooch, hemp seed, and sriracha. I think that's everything in it. Yeah, lunch. And I'm about to go to the grocery store, and then I have to go to my P.O. box to pick up my partner's gift. So it is time for us to get out in the world, get going with our day, and then when we get home, little meal prep, little laundry. That's the plan, that's the game plan for today. Let's get to it. Okay, so I said yesterday in the vlog that I re-dyed my hair, and I can't wait to see this video so I can see what it looks like in the light. Made it a bit darker, just redid it because it was getting too pink. Okay, so I just got home from running my errands and I have my boyfriend's gift. I've made him stay in the office so that I can wrap it real quick. So we're gonna wrap this real quick and then I'll give y'all a little grocery haul, whatever. What we got for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day foods because we're gonna be like chilling at home and stuff. So we got some special stuff for that. Yeah, we need to get this wrapped so that he can be allowed out of the office. <laughs> yes, I know under our tree is a mess. We're gonna have a wrapping party tomorrow to get everything wrapped and ready. And some old newspapers for wrapping paper. I did get one roll of wrapping paper at the grocery store today because I didn't know if I had enough old newspaper, but we're probably just gonna use this for the kids' presents because it is super fun. It's got, it's got dinosaurs and pizza and llamas and sloths and trees and candy and donuts and it's really cute and a rainbow and sparkly Okay, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but does it get the job done? Yes, it does. And this box is not the prettiest box to wrap either because it's not completely flat. It's like sunken in some places, but you know what? We have a wrapped Christmas gift in old newspaper. Okay, you're allowed to come out now. I'm free. I'm gonna do a grocery haul real quick. Okay, okay. So keep in mind we bought a little bit more junk this week because of Christmas and wanting to make special Christmas meals. Uh, my partner wanted these crackers because I guess they're healthier to snack on than chips. There, yeah. Breakfast sausages for breakfast casserole on Christmas morning. That's also what this just egg is for. And the sharp cheddar is gonna be for on top of the chili and for the breakfast casserole. I've got a green bell pepper, butter, because I need to make Christmas cookies. That needs to happen like probably today or tomorrow. Like I'm going to leave one of these out so I can soften, I think, a little bit because I need to make Christmas cookie dough tonight if I want to make the cookies tomorrow. Yeah. So, okay, we got some Beyond Meat to go into the chili. And I found this new bacon. Yeah, I think we're going to try this either 
on Christmas Eve, like with some pancakes for breakfast or in the breakfast casserole. Since I have the sausage, I'll probably, I don't need to add bacon to it, you know, but we got some meatballs. I haven't gotten to try these yet, but we're having spaghetti and meatballs on Christmas. So excited to try these. And we're having a salad with that. So we got some mixed greens. Next we got some avocados, because we just ran out of avocados today earlier when I made the avo, avo toast. Some powdered sugar, because I need that for frosting for the cookies. All-purpose flour, because we are out. Y'all saw that earlier in the week when I had to make the gingerbread gluten-free. Barton Springs Mill used to sell at our farmer's market, but their stand hasn't been there since Rona, so they do sell at Whole Foods now, though, which is cool. So I can still get locally milled flour. Some almond butter, because we're almost out of that. I've been, putting, I've been putting it in our smoothies whenever I want the smoothie to, like, you know, stick with me a little bit longer, keep me full a little bit longer. We've got fat-free marinara sauce for our spaghetti and meatballs. And we've got orange juice and milk. They changed the packaging on the orange juice and I actually like it. It's much more plain and clear and simple. Some bananas, because you know your girl gotta buy bananas every single week. We've got kind of a lot frozen right now, but I know we're gonna use them through the week. So I bought one that was just about to be ripe in a few days and then one that will be ripe by the end of the week. A little bit of strawberries because strawberries are really good on avocado toast and they're really good to snack on and they're really good in oatmeal and just a good, I like to have strawberries because it's one of the few fruits that I actually like to eat just like fresh. Big bag of broccoli. I'm gonna leave this out because we're using it tonight for dinner. Probably at least like half of this bag we're using for dinner tonight. Potatoes and a couple of onions because I only have half of a yellow onion left. Okay, and that is everything that I got at the grocery store. Now, while I was at Whole Foods, my partner was at HEB grabbing some chili because you can only get the chili there and some shredded potato hash browns because Whole Foods has been out every time I've been. So he grabbed those couple of things while he was at HEB as well as hash brown patties for the breakfast casserole. Oh, and they were out of non-dairy whipped cream at Whole Foods. So he grabbed some for me at HEB. This is gonna be for, you know, our hot chocolate. And for, I've been really wanting to make a white chocolate mocha since I got that white chocolate. So now I can make a Starbucks at home vegan white chocolate mocha. I am so excited and there's definitely gonna be that in a video. I'm thinking I'll either do that like Christmas Eve or Christmas day, maybe both, we'll see. We'll probably have hot chocolate tonight as well. And I need to make more hot cocoa bombs because I want to make some for my friend. Okay, and then the dinner that I am making tonight is a high carb Hanna recipe. I've been wanting to try it for, since I saw it for like a month or two now. And I couldn't because I couldn't find the frozen hash browns. So since he was able to get some while he was at HEB, we're going to have it tonight. It's this like hash brown broccoli casserole bake thing. I'm super excited. And I will leave a recipe link down below to her website, to the recipe. I do like some of her recipes and her cooking and her philosophy on calorie density. So we we do try and for the most part eat in that way, that theory of calorie density where you have like half of your plate be vegetables to lower the calorie density of the meal. But it'd be Christmas week, so we're probably gonna not eat that great most of the week. That's fine, we pick it up next week. I mean, we're still gonna eat healthy tonight. We're eating one of her recipes tonight. And we're still gonna be healthy every day, probably, except for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And that's totally fine. Oh, look at this! We're tossing the broccoli and the potatoes together in this cheesy sauce. It is so good. I actually made a two time of the cheese sauce so that I could make, damn it, oven! So that I could make, so that I could make this again later this week or next week because we got two bags of hash brown potatoes. So I'm gonna stir this up, throw it in this baking dish. I'm hoping because it's like thinner, I'll be able to bake it for less time because it is already like, it's already like eight o'clock at night and I don't have dinner done and I feel kind of bad about it. But I've been hanging out live, that's why. Okay, so 
I'm about to make some cookie dough. Got my mixer out while the casserole is in the oven. It's almost done, but I really need to get cookie dough made today so that I can make the cookies tomorrow so I get them frosted so that I can bring cookies to his family on Wednesday. Cookie time! And I'm sorry, I can't give y'all this recipe. It is a family secret. I'm sorry, guys. that bubble and cheesy potato broccoli goodness okay so like it doesn't look great on the plate but I'm sure it tastes delicious because I already know the cheese tastes delicious we also got the cookie doughs done and in the oven not in the oven in the fridge oh my goodness it's it's late not that late but it's definitely too late for dinner okay taste test Yo, yes, this is definitely something I could have often. This is so good. Okay, so if y'all have been following along with our cookie taste test, we're going to try the last one that we picked up tonight, the chocolate donut one. Mm, Wanna open it for us? It's been a few days since we had one. So, we're gonna try chocolate donut with sprinkles chocolate cookie with sprinkles donut cookie donut cookie mmm donut I don't know why they called it donut it's not like glazed or cake donut or anything like that I was expecting it to have sort of a cake donut texture nope mmm not a huge fan of chocolate cookies I think it's the same chocolate cookie that the peppermint chocolate one is. Yeah. But this one's just got sprinkles instead of peppermint. Yep. Mm. I'm not a big fan. What about you? I like sprinkles. Is this a six out of ten? Yum. Oh, the camera, not me. It gets six out of ten yums. Okay, what did the chocolate peppermint one get? The chocolate peppermint one got seven. What was the other one we tried? The caramel one? Salted caramel? That one was probably my favorite. So that one that was, one was like an eight. That was like an eight. That was a good one. That one had much yum. Okay, we're going to go back to watching The Good Place. And I might have one more bite of that cookie, but eh, it's not the best. Well, I'm about to get ready for bed. Put dinner away. I already took out my contacts. I'm like trying to remember what all I even did today. I went to the grocery store, did a little haul for y'all, made some cookie dough. We'll make those cookies tomorrow, have a little wrapping party tomorrow. We wrapped his Christmas present, we did some errands. All right, we did a good amount today, I think. I hope, getting prepared for Christmas. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a Vlogmas day. And hit the like button if you like this video and comment down below what do you think I got my partner for Christmas. Because it was just a big white box. That's all y'all got to see. Guess down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 23. 23? So close to Christmas day. I can't believe it's almost Christmas. Like, I feel like we just started Vlogmas. Like, I cannot believe Christmas is already almost here. That's insane. Like, I feel like I still have so much to do. I like cannot believe that it's almost Christmas. I'm so behind on like the Vlogmases that I was watching too. So I gotta do a little catch up there. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.